I think the second time in NFL history, all three brothers compete in the same NFL game. You know that you might make it to the NFL, but you never think that you'll all be on the same team and on the same foot at the same time. So that's definitely a blessing, man. It was, can't thank him enough for that because that's just something that we'll always have with us. Well, this is a Duncan take it to the house, absolute first because we've got all three of the Edmonds brothers joining us on Zoom right now. So first of all, fellas, it's phenomenal to see all you guys. Uh, see you safe, see you healthy, see you together. Uh, it wouldn't appear this way, but you are actually all in the same house, your house <laughs> in yeah. Danville. Explain to me, if you can, what this situation is like, because obviously uh, three grown Edmonds brothers is a lot different for your parents than it was when you guys were growing up. Man, it's a lot of grinding and working out. We're all upstairs together, all just like high school again, all together doing everything, eating together, family movie time and everything. So it's just a, a good family time, good fun time. How are your parents doing? How, how's everybody uh, staying healthy and uh, getting through this together? Yeah, everybody's doing well. Trying to stay as safe as we can, you know, quarantining ourselves, trying to buy by, you know, the laws that's been placed before us, you know, just trying to, do our part and, and do our job and keeping everybody safe, you know. But uh, one thing I think Trail left out earlier was that we're doing a lot of eating, a lot of grocery shopping yeah, and a lot, lot of eating. Food. Well, speaking of food, guys, a couple of weeks ago, uh, this is not abnormal. I know that you guys always give back to the community, particularly the one you're from and here in Blacksburg as often as you can. But I saw a really cool uh, piece about you guys doing work with the, the food shelter there. How'd that come about? What was that experience like? Uh, how re rewarding was that, particularly in these difficult times? Uh, it was wonderful. You know, um, we teamed up with um, a, a local group around called the Danville Inks Incorporated. Lynx Incorporated, I'm sorry. And um, we teamed up with them, and we thought it would be a good idea to kind of give out some lunches. You know, because a lot of the kids are not in school and uh, parents aren't working. And, you know, the truth of the matter is a lot of people aren't eating, you know, and they're missing lunches and they're skipping meals. So, um we were blessed and um, we felt led to go ahead and do that one day. And uh, man, it brought so much joy to our hearts. You know, the whole process was fun. Bagging the lunches, giving them out, seeing the smiles on people's faces, you know, uh, just greeting everybody as they come through, you know, it was all safe. Everyone had on masks, we had on gloves. Um, I thought it was a wonderful thing. Like I, I really enjoyed myself doing it. And I was happy to see all the smiles on people's faces. All right, well, we're just coming off the NFL draft. And, of course, you guys were paying close attention as to who was going to get drafted for your organizations. But, Trey, I'm going to get your story. What was it like being there as Tremaine gets drafted and then to add to it later in that same night you get drafted? It was definitely a long night. You can say that because we were up all night. Everyone was excited. I stand my younger brother's dreams come true. Everyone was super excited. Everyone didn't know how to react to it because it was our first time being there and it was just, it was fun, exciting. And then after we finished taking the pictures and everything, we all went back in to wait for my name to get called. And once my name was called, everyone was just super excited. We, we went back to the hotel. We stayed up all night laughing, singing, <laughs> dancing, having a good time, just nice fellowship time, man. It was just amazing. It was a blessing, man, honestly. Uh, uh, you know, when mine happened, obviously it was a lot of emotion. You know, the family was excited. I was excited. Uh, you know, I was going through interviews and doing all that stuff. And then uh, somebody had mentioned to me that <clears throat> somebody had just contacted my brother, you know, and he was on the phone. You know, I I asked him, I said, you know, just give me a second. Let me go over here. Let me see what's going on because I didn't want to miss it. So, um, you know, I went over there. I uh, stopped my interview. So I went over there for a second to see what was going on. And then they called his name. So. I mean, you know, as a family, what more can you ask for? Let's go, man. That's my brother, man. Let's go. Oh, man, that's crazy, bro. Just what? Oh, my God. You know, as far as that night and, you know, it being spectacular like it was and, you know, an unforgettable night. And, uh, I mean, when we got back to the hotel, just like you said, man, we just had a good time fellowshipping with each other and just, you know, family around, you know, the friends that was there, uh, you know, everybody that was just there with us, uh, you know, it was just a good time and we all enjoyed it. Uh, I think I was more excited than they were. You know, uh, when when we first heard Tremaine's name at the table, everyone's eyes just lit up, you know, because it was like, man, we had an idea what was going to happen, but I guess we could never really, um, we wouldn't know how it would be when it happened until it actually happened. 
you know, and it was just so excited. Everybody was excited. Uh, Terrell was super excited, not even knowing that his name would be called later on. And when his name got called, man, that really was just like the icing on the cake. I think the second time in NFL history, all three brothers compete in the same NFL game. You know, could you guys have ever imagined something like that coming to fruition? Seeing how my life played out, just being able to get drafted with my younger brother in the first round. And then my older brother's on the same team. And now we all get to play on the same field. It was just, it's just crazy. It's stuff that we talked about when we were younger, but it's like, you know that you might make it to the NFL, but you never think that you'll all be on the same team and on the same foot at the same time. So that's definitely a blessing, man. It was, can't thank him enough for that because that's just something that we we'll always have with us. Is it true that you guys had a busload of people that came to Pittsburgh <laughs> for that game? I think it was like two bus loads, either two or three bus loads, honestly. <laughs> it was a lot of people. How did Virginia Tech, how did that experience help you prepare for what you're experiencing now as pros? Really just hard, smart, and tough. Uh, that, that goes a long way with me, just simply because it's like we're going out there, um, we got the hit first, we got to out trick them, we outsmart them, go jump a route, and then we're just going to fight together. Um, just the lunch pill defense is going out there fighting together and fighting to the end, uh, not taking no for an answer, just bringing your lunch pill every day. You know, I just want to pick it back on what Rail said. It's pretty much that mentality. And, uh, you know, we developed that mentality since day one I stepped on campus. And, you know, I think Coach Foster did a good job as well, you know, just being on that defensive side and pushing that lunch pill mentality. And, uh, you know, just being tight like we were. And the whole team where I think that just carries along, you know, still some qualities I'm, I'm – I'm, you know, bring it with me now. Uh, you know, when I go out to practice, you know, I'm always have that lunch lunch pill mentality. Just to go out there every day, be the best, and uh, accept nothing more than that. All right. Well, there's no way in the world I'm going to ask you guys to do this now. But, Terrell, I remember, man, maybe it was a couple of years ago, you were with the family, and you sent out – it was you guys doing a synchronized dance, and it was amazing. <laughs> Again, I ain't going to ask you to do it right now. But have you guys carved out any time? Are you guys doing any of that? I mean, what family activities are you, are you guys getting into? Just playing games and stuff around the house. Yeah, we're uh, playing games around the house. A lot, lot of competitive games that, you know, we sit down and play, connect for, spades. Five second rule. That's a new game. Uh, five, yeah, five, five, second rule, all that stuff. Monopoly. Five, you know, we are kind of taking it back in the day, man. It's just getting back to the games we used to play. We've been watching a lot of movies, too. A lot of movies and a lot of uh, Netflix shows. Yeah. Is there a lot of competitiveness that fuels through these family games? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think we can go through a game without it being competitive. Like, I don't think that we can physically play a game and then not turn competitive like a football game. You know, even, even with our parents and even with whoever, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always competitive in everything we do. But I think that's a good thing because it's just in us, you know, and it's never going to go anywhere. I was about to say, we had to finish Monopoly in one set, and that's how competitive it got. Yeah. <laughs> Most people don't finish Monopoly. We finished it in one setting. Who won? I'm not no going to say anything. I hope there no, was No comment. No comment. Nope. There was controversy at the end of the end. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little controversy. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, this has been a blast. I know Okie Nation is going to love hearing from all you guys. And thanks for all the great things you're doing in the community and for Virginia Tech, too. And nothing but continued success. Stay safe, guys. It's been an absolute treat. Thanks. I appreciate you.